you can just rake off the top. You can rake it all over in one corner. Get rid of it. All right. Thanks for my question. Now on to the plan. Let me show you what we're going to do. Take one. Me and the wife, Tammy, are going to go out on the boat and try to attempt to scrape some of this pond scum off of her pond. So, hope it goes well. Going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Do I have it going? Yeah, you have it going. <laughs> now you're going that way. Go that way. That way. That way. Oh my gosh. I don't know anything about it. You didn't give me any information. Good stuff. Let it drift. Like he does everything by himself. Now you're going the wrong way. Now you're going way the wrong way. All right, well, finally we learned a few things, especially you saw the patience I had with my wife as she was learning how to use a trolling motor. That's why we don't In the oars. <laughs> so we were able to work things out. Well, I need that delegate. explanation, dear, on how to do things. Yeah, uh, I love you too. But anyway. I think all we did is break it up mostly. And so some of it sunk down. Do you have any suggestions? Yeah. Put them in Let there. us know. But we're going to go buy some chemicals now yeah. and see uh, how we can keep this top coat of algae and you can smell it. it smells like sewer. Yeah. And uh, yeah. calm down. We've been here three years and this is the first year we've had it like this. For sure. All right, more to come. All right, welcome back. And so day two of this ridding the pond of algae project. So we did pick up some crystal plex 
and it's a uh, algae control. I've used this before doing a different application just pouring it in the pond but today we're going to use the sprayer from uh, our ATV and put it in the little rowboat here go out and then uh, gonna focus on that far end of the pond around the sides leave the middle alone and then maybe get a little bit up here near the dock that way the fish have some place to go uh, if it irritates them too much but I read the uh, directions yes I read the directions and um, we got about 24,000 gallons of water here so we dilute this by a quarter ounce to every gallon and uh, that's the ratio that we put in the sprayer so anyway we're gonna give this a try and um, over the course of the next couple days hopefully it will uh, work itself in and then we'll show you some of the results and hopefully they are positive results so hang in there and uh, watch us as we go along ridding our pond of the nasty algae So along with the topical application, I also try to get down some of these mats, get underneath the water, get it down deep. Don't know if it helps or not, but it can't hurt. So amazing, within just a few hours, the moss or algae that I hit with the chemicals has turned brown versus the green, as you can see right there. That's consistent pretty much all around where I hit it. And then you can tell where I didn't hit it. All right. You'll also notice it's got this spray going on here. And it breaks it up even more. And we want to keep that going for a little bit, I think. So we'll try to create a pool, a stream, going around that way over to the spillway. Not that that's going to do anything, but... Alright, so good results so far. At least we know it's killing it. So anyway, that's the first attempt at getting rid of the uh, algae. As you can see, there's quite a bit of improvement just by working and breaking the algae up uh, at this point. I think really what we need is a pretty good decent rain and that's what I'm trying to simulate a little bit with this hose which is my feeble attempt to uh, clear up this pond without uh, any rain in sight so hopefully we get some well needed rain soon. All right, as you can see behind me, letting Mother Nature do the final finishing touches. So we uh, finally got some rain 
um, and some thunderstorms coming in. But uh, you saw the pond in the beginning, saw the transition throughout the process. Now you see the final product, algae free. Yes, algae free after one treatment, a little bit of uh, TLC with some uh, water sprayer, just spraying it on the pond and then also mother nature coming in at the end making it all right so thanks for stopping in today and uh, watching the uh, pond scum algae removal process here on peterson farms in nashville friends family and future generations we do this sort of thing so that you can watch way back when and enjoy it in the now god bless you all till next time Thanks for joining us here on Peterson Farms of Nashville.